Knock, knock. Who's here? That's the worst story of the day. Catherine. All right. Catherine Hughes. Catherine. Cat <laughs> Timp joins us this morning. There is, like, insanity going on mm -hmm. in the schools. Just to give you one example, college professors are blaming Christians for the terror attack in Orlando. Yes. How does that work? Well, I, people are trying to blame absolutely anything but the radical Islamic terrorism, which is, you know, you get people like Sally Cohen out there saying, well, yeah, what about Christian terrorists? What about, uh, you know, people bombing abortion clinics? There's been more people dying from selfies in 2015 alone than have ever died in violence in abortion clinics. But nobody wants to blame the real problem because they're too scared of it. I don't know. Or people just like blaming Christian. That's that's part of it. So the question this week, of course, homegrown terrorism. How's right. Guy troubled, obviously, mm -hmm. had, all, had all kinds of issues suddenly just like aligns himself with ISIS, right. which ISIS encourages you to do. Right. It's not like you have to go through some big vetting process mm -hmm. if you just say, I'm with ISIS. Eh, you're with you're ISIS. With ISIS. It, How yes. do you stop that? Well, it's very hard to stop it because with the internet, you have people, you know, going, you know, going after these losers, like this guy, essentially losers, and radicalizing them and making them feel important. But the, first of all, you have to call it what it is. People, I've seen so many things. Well, it was toxic masculinity. It was homophobia. It's like, you know what? Yes, being sexist is kind of, you know, an ISIS thing. Okay, they're not exactly known for their feminism. Those are symptoms of the same underlying cause, right. not additional causes that we should be talking about. We need to start off by at least talking about the problem and acknowledging that it's specifically this problem without getting into all this well, other stuff. What I don't stuff. understand is that ISIS and Islamism in general represents an existential threat to liberal values, mm -hmm. to pluralism. Hmm. It's a tolerance. Yes. So why wouldn't liberals be its chief enemies? Why are they abetting it? I don't get it. Making excuses for it. Well, there's this political correctness and then Obama refusing to say radical Islam, radical Islamic terrorism ever. I think people kind of follow that a little bit. Hillary's starting to say it now, which I think is kind of interesting. Hopefully we're moving away from it a little bit. But we can't solve any problems unless we talk about it specifically. And I'm so sick of seeing these think pieces, blaming it on Christians, blaming it on white people, blaming it on homophobia, sexism. It's like, yeah, you know, this is a bad guy, but ISIS is... They're, 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 they're bad. They're terrorists. That's kind of the whole thing. Well, from that to this, it is Father's <laughs> Day after yes. all. And we want to put you on the spot. Did you, did you get your father's father anything? No, this I'm, father's day? I'm going after this. You didn't yeah, get anything yet? Not yet. Not no, no, yet. no, it's Father's Day today. Today, today. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going usually after. it's the men who wait to the last minute. I'm going to go day. shopping after this. You know, can we, send a, can we yeah. send a camera with you and yeah. see what you buy? Would you mind if sure. we got a camera on sure. you? Sure. Oh, can boy. we do that? Yeah, can let's we get do a it. camera? We will? Let's do it. All right, yeah, we're going to send a camera. Good. <laughs> There's a gas station open down the street. So okay. I think we're going to send we're a camera. Network. I hope we he's not watching. That. But <laughs> I've met your dad. He's a yeah, good guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. He deserves a good present. He's the finest the gas station has to offer. You've got oh, a few hours. <laughs> you better get out there and do it. Okay. Okay, so, great to see you this morning. You too. All right, next up, Republicans, are they working secretly behind the scenes to take the nomination from Donald Trump? Well, yes, they are.